Hey guys, it's Symphony. My hair is a little crazy. So today, we're in my car because I am cleaning it. And yeah, I thought I would just kind of show you guys like how I like to detail my car. So I just went through the car wash, the one that we have locally. You pay for the car wash, then you get a free um, vacuum, which I think is very worth it because for me, vacuuming takes like the longest and therefore I'm like putting in way more money. And then I also didn't want to have to like pay to vacuum and pay to go through the car wash because I was not about to get out and wash the car today. Usually I have a little bit better of supplies, but I just decided to use like the rest of this glass cleaner. And then I have some Febreze too to help the car smell better. I'm just gonna kind of do like a time lapse, I guess. And then at the very end of this video, I'm gonna give a quick little car tour, so yeah. Welcome to the car tour now. Um, I just got done cleaning it. I think it looks pretty good. It smells a lot better in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a tour of our car. We have a 2012, I think, Toyota Yaris. Fucking a great car besides the fact that we don't have any heat or AC, but we're gonna be getting that fixed pretty soon. I guess I'll go ahead and get you guys started and let's do this. <laughs> oh, really quickly though, I just wanted to mention that this is not my car, this is technically Chris's car, but we do share a car right now as we also share like a phone and a laptop and everything else like that. It's not a big deal. Um, we actually make it work really well having one car. But yeah, I mean, this is technically his car, but I thought I'd give you a car tour anyway. And he already knows that I'm making this video. He thinks it's a really cool idea. So yeah, just thought I'd go ahead and make that quick little disclaimer. Um, so let's get started. Okay, I'm sitting in the driver's seat right now. So we have this steering wheel cover. We've had it forever. It's actually kind of dirty, I'm not gonna lie. And then our cup holders are in the weirdest spot. So when we first got the car, they were like that and we couldn't figure out like where the cup holders were. And then one of our friends got in our car and he was like, oh, here they are. This one gets stuck all the time. There we go. Kind of annoying because it's literally right there in front of the vent, but otherwise it's actually really convenient. So right here we have this dream catcher that a local friend gave us. He is like an older guy who is really spiritual and just a really awesome dude all around. And he gave this to Chris. Whoa, I can't reach it. It is literally so gorgeous. And we thought it just fit right there in the car really, really well. Up here, I threw my sunglasses because I've been wearing them all day. But we keep crystals, one of Chris's little drawings, and then that bottle cap. I don't know why we have it up there. It's just pretty. And then I found this stick in the woods and it just so happens to fit over that little bump perfectly. It kind of slides around, but overall it's been a blessing having that in the car, honestly. I love it so much. This is like our little dash. It's in the center, which is odd, but you know, it is what it is. And um, this is the air freshener I have on right now. It smells really good, but because our vents don't blow anything out you can't really smell it so that is pretty much everything right there um this is usually not in here but i was obviously just cleaning and then in these two little side cubbies we just have some random naturey things in there and that's where we also keep our lighters and then on this side we just keep all of our extra sunglasses and a couple of pens and we have storage in the side of the doors i usually try to keep that side pretty empty and the side just has a map and a camera strap in there. And then we keep all our change in this side of the door. So yeah, that is pretty much everything for the front of the car. Okay, so I'm getting into the back, but I just thought I'd show you guys like an overview before I get in because it's gonna be really tight in here. Um, we have some random change and stuff over here and then like an old ring of mine. Don't know why. I've got this blanket on the back seat just to kind of keep it a little bit cleaner and because I think it looks really nice. Right here in this back pocket, the only th three things that we have 
wow this white balance though the only three things we have in this back pocket of the driver's seat is a skate john magazine which is like a local skate magazine i think it's local one of chris's journals and then an old book that we have on this side the only thing that we have in here is a frisbee that i've had since i was a kid and then down in that pocket we just have like an old iphone charger dock and like a little screwdriver for chris's skateboards this white balance is killing me you guys down on the floor chris keeps his skateboard and an extra pair of skate shoes and then on this side we have a giant giant cd binder let me show this thing to you guys really quick this is so weird because i literally never sit in my back seat but oh look how big this thing is it fits like 500 cds i think um and it is where we keep all of our cds and all of our dvds as well it's actually really useful i got it on amazon i'll link it down below for you guys if you're curious but I really couldn't find one anywhere in between like 100 CDs and then like 500 CDs. I was like, uh, I might as well just get the biggest one they have. And yeah, it's excessively large. I kind of regret buying the biggest one they had, but you know what? It's all we'll ever need. Now we just keep that on the floor back here because it's like the best place to keep it. And then right up here, Chris has this drawing that he sold to a friend he just has to drop it off to him and we also have a skate tool which honestly i think i'm gonna throw in this that is pretty much everything in our car like i said i just cleaned it it's not usually this clean but we usually keep it pretty minimal for what's in the car i'm not going to take you guys into the trunk or maybe i should because i should probably clean it out but i don't even know what is back there because we honestly haven't been in the trunk since we've moved so i don't know what could possibly be back there fuck it let's go check it out <laughs> This is what our trunk looks like right now. We have a bunch of trash and a big ass bag of clothes, which I don't know what we're doing with. Skateboards, skate shoes. This is an absolute mess. Let me clean this and we'll be right back. That probably sucked, but here's our trunk now. We've got some more skate shoes, his hiking boots and my roller skates because I don't know where to put those. I stacked all of our skateboards super nicely. We've got this cooler, which is empty. I threw his old backpack back here. And then to cover all this stuff up, it's like we have oil, jumper cables, and his skate box, his skate toolbox, rather. So yeah, and I just kind of throw her over that. He got me that forever ago for my birthday, and I just haven't taken her out of the box, so she's in our trunk. <laughs> and then we have this bag of clothes, which I'm so happy I found. So yeah, because I thought it was donate clothes, but I'm pretty sure it's actually like my clothes. I don't know though. We'll see. I'm covering up the license plate, but this is like the few bumper stickers that we have on the car. We have a Thrasher one, a Polaroid one, and one that says I love trees. Really want to get some more. So that is the finished car tour. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!